Hello everyone. How are you guys doing today? We are on episode five of season two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I rem like I really liked the last. I blah, 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 blah. I really liked the last episode. I want to say the last episode was one of my favorite episodes thus far. I liked the antagonist character. I liked the position that she was in where she was kind of sympathetic, you know? She had motiv motivations that I think that you could understand and she got um, served a raw deal. So you definitely could see why she was doing the things that she was doing. But at the same time, you know, she was sucking the life out of people and that's not great. And so she obviously had to be taken down, but um, I liked that little arc. I, I thought that it was interesting. I think that it did a decent job at forwarding the uh, Willow, Xander sort of tension there. Uh, we were introduced to a new character, kind of. We didn't really... I don't think we learned his name or anything like that. I keep calling him Randy because that's what his name is in Scream. Want to be a totally different actor because I didn't actually look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's Randy from Scream. He seems into Willow and every single time that a guy that I, I think is into Willow, he like ends up being like a f***ing weirdo. So I'm hoping this time we forward on with the... Uh, Randy. I'm just going to call him Randy until I learn what his real name is. I'm looking forward to seeing like if he does, you know, show up again. I assume that he will because they did spend a lot of the last episode introducing him and then it didn't really go anywhere because uh, because Willow and him didn't end up speaking. So hopefully, hopefully this episode. But let's get into it, guys. Again, I'm a little bit tired. I'm sorry if my energy's a bit off. But, you know, that's just how it is sometimes. And let's get into the episode. Why is she singing? She's sad because her lover gave her 12 gold coins. But then the wizard cut open the bag of salt. And now the dancing minions have nowhere to put their big maple fish thing. Uh-huh. Why is she singing? <laughs> Maybe it's just a musical. And we thought just because we didn't have any money or any place to go, this would be a lackluster evening. <laughs> I know we could go to the bronze and sneak in our own tea bags and ask for hot water. Hop up. <laughs> uh, I love Willow. No demons or vampires to slay. I'm here with my friends. So how does the water buffalo fit in again? I wonder if there is ever actually going to be an episode where nothing supernatural happens. I highly doubt it, but I could see the drama taking center stage for like an episode maybe, but I don't know. Every single episode up until this point has had something, so I will not hold my breath for it. <laughs> Conveniently placed tree. Is that a gravestone that just says mother? <laughs> mother and dad? They didn't even put their names on it? Callie, Callie, where are you going? Oh, he's just getting started. <laughs> uh, don't like the looks of this. I mean, I never like the looks of it, I guess. But what the fuck? Hey. Ooh, my bad. Why is it so low? Okay, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> hmm. Drama. <laughs> That's not my preferred lighting. Okay, let's see. Let's hope nothing happens. You dreamed about Angel again? Third night in a row. What did he do in the dream? Stuff. <laughs> I'm just thinking about him so much lately. You two are so right for each other. 
except for the uh, vampire thing. That doesn't make you know, I feel like we don't actually know that much about Angel. Like, we kind of know how he became a vampire and why he's so weird and aloof. But aside from that, like, do we know anything? Like, does he really have a personality? There's really no comparison between college men and high school boys. I mean, look at that. So <laughs> You'll go to college someday, Xander. I just know your pizza delivery career will take you so many exciting places. I like her bangs. <laughs> They're nice and flippy. Just because the paranormal is more normal and less para of late, <laughs> there's no excuse for tardiness or letting your guard down. You yawned your way through weapons training last week. You, you, you skipped hand to hand entirely. Are you going to be prepared if a demon springs up behind you and does this? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she will be. Buffy, you think I don't know what it's like to be 16? No. I think you don't know what it's like to be 16 and a girl and the Slayer. I mean, she has a point there. Or what it's like to have to stake vampires while you're having fuzzy feelings towards one. Mm. Uh, I do think that kids tend to think that adults don't remember what it was like to be young. And I think that because I used to think that. And now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, I remember all too well. Well, here's a hard fact of life. We all have to do things we don't like. And you have hand-to-hand -hand this afternoon and patrol tonight. So I, I suggest you come straight here at the end of, of period six and, and you get your homework done. And don't dawdle with your friends. Mm. And, and don't think sitting there pouting is going to get to me because it won't. <laughs> Got to me. Not getting to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was given a raw deal. And you skipped three classes. Yeah, and of course they flew by. At least Buffy. she was born super cute. <laughs> Okay. This is gonna be the guy from last night. Cordelia. Not that I totally remember what he nice looks like, car. but I think that that was him, no? So, uh, we're having a little get together tomorrow night at the house, and it's gonna be a really special evening. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? So, who's your friend? Her? Oh, she's not my friend. Why do you just assume he's not talking about Willow? Well, why don't you introduce us? I mean, you okay. don't need both of them, Cordelia. Although, I'm pretty sure these guys are sus, so... Come on, Richard and his fraternity brother want to meet you. Well, I don't really want to meet any fraternity boys. And if there was a god, don't you think he'd keep it that way? Hi, <laughs> sweetheart. I'm Richard, and you are? So not interested. <laughs> She's such a little comedian. What, she likes to play hard to get? No, Richard, I think you're playing easy to resist. I'm Tom Warner. I'm a senior at Crestwood College, and I, you know, I just Buffy. feel like a complete dolt meeting you this way, so... Buffy, don't get swayed by it. Like she's gonna fall for that. Um, Buffy Summers. Yeah. Nice well, she did, so... Mm. History stumps me. I have a hard enough time remembering what happened last week. No, nothing happened last week. Don't worry, I was there. <laughs> she's gonna walk away. Now. No. She isn't Xander. My friend invited your friend to a party we're having this weekend. <laughs> Cornelia's laugh is so funny. Would you like to come and save me from a really dull fate? Oh, I wish I could, but I'm sort of involved. Oh, sure, of course you are. Well, thanks for letting me ramble. Buffy! I gotta go. It was nice to meet you. Oh. Same here. This is definitely not the last we're seeing of him. Like, these were the guys from the scene earlier, right? I mean, they were wearing, like, hoods, so I don't actually know. But... I'm going to attack you. Word of warning for your own good. Maybe she, maybe Buffy should take, like, an actual class. Like, Giles is not the one. <laughs> Like, <laughs> is this really helping her? Good. So, um, you're on patrol, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> There's blood on it. Hi. It's nice mm. to... Blood? I was <laughs> just thinking, wouldn't it be funny sometime to see each other when it wasn't a blood thing? <laughs> What are you saying? Do you want to date? No. 
You don't want to have a date. Who said date? I, I, I never said date. Right. You just want to have coffee or something. Coffee? Is... Does he eat or drink? He doesn't, does he? He just it's drinks happening. blood. You're 16 right? years old on 241. Yeah. Definitely. Step away from her. If we date, you and I both know one thing's going to lead to another. One thing already has led to another. Just trying to protect you. This could get out of control. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? <laughs> this isn't some fairy tale. When I kiss you, you don't wake up from a deep sleep and live happily ever oh. after. When you kiss me, I want to die. Jesus. What an intense love affair to have at 16. Yeah, I liked that one episode. I think it was titled Angel, where we like go into his backstory. Like, I feel like there's not much to his character. Like, I wish there was a bit more. All right, I respect you too much to be dishonest. The hair is a little... Well, that really isn't the point here, is it? <laughs> Buffy looks amazing. What are you talking about? Anyway, the deal is they need you to go. And if you don't go, I can't. Buffy, these men are rich. And I'm not being shallow. Think of all the poor people I could help with all my money. Yeah, is that what you're thinking about, Cordelia? Great, I'll drive. Oh, Buffy, it's like we're sisters with really different hair. Yeah, Buffy's is nice. Yours looks fine right now. It's good of you to notice. The Delta Zeta Kappas and to Makita whom we serve. On my oath, before my assembled brethren, mm. I promise to keep our secret from this day unto my death. In blood, I was baptized, and in blood I shall reign in his name. I don't like this. Frisky time. Yes! So it's a girl like you doing in a place like this. What are they going to do with her? <laughs> like, what is the plan God, in here? Nice girls. Ew. You're going to the fraternity party? What made you change your mind? They truly invited the wrong girl. I'm not going with Angel. I'm going with Egads. Cordelia? Cordelia! <laughs> what happened with Angel? Nothing, as usual. Angel barely says two words to me. Don't you hate that? And when he does, he treats me like I'm a child. That bastard. I mean, you really are in comparison to him. Tom. <laughs> Who's Tom? The frat guy. Oh, Buffy, I don't okay, think so. Okay, Xander, you gotta give it up. You gotta give it up. Oh, there are no security be ready cameras. Ready for behind you. Oh. You're so lucky. There's some other students. But apparently no other students go to the library. How did it go last night? Fabulous. E-N-T. I've seen something like that before. It's broken into... I don't know what the rest of the letters might have spelled. Blood. In Sunnydale. What a surprise. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. She should probably make the rounds again tonight, and we should try to figure out who that bracelet belongs to. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. She'll patrol, and, and we'll reconvene. Uh, hello? She's standing right here? Yeah. And she's not available. Let her be involved in the plan making. My mom's not really feeling well, and she could probably use my help. To be truthful, I'm not feeling all that well myself. Oh, well, I'm sorry, of course, if, if, if you're not well. Oh, I'll take an early pass this evening and um, one later on, but for the bulk of the evening. Oh, you should stay home with your mother. Well, say it. I'm not going to say it. You lied to Giles. So she will. Look, I wasn't lying. I was just protecting him from Look. information that he wouldn't be able to digest properly. Like a corn dog. I feel like bad for her. It would suck if every time you have a plan, you have to forego the thing that you want to do. For duty. Duty that you didn't ask for. Okay, you know what? Look, seven days a week, I'm busy saving the world. Once in a great while, I want to have some Yeah, fun. I mean, I get it. I'm actually kind of on Buffy's side. I know it's probably going to, like, not be in her favor. Although, I mean, the frat party is where shit is going down, so. And don't do that weird thing with her hair. What weird thing with Don't her? interrupt. <laughs> oh, are we feeling a little envious? You could belong to a fraternity of rich and powerful men in the bizarro world. Well, give it your all and keep to the shadows. Okay, clearly, Cordelia, clearly they liked her when they saw her, so you don't need to give her all these tips. Buffy's lying. Buffy's going to frat parties. 
That's not a skew, that's cockeyed. We'll help Giles. I'm going to the party. What? I gotta keep an eye on Buffy. Those frat guys creep me. I wanna protect them. I mean, look, it just so happens that these frat guys are fucking weirdos, okay? But he doesn't know that. Whoa. <gasps> Why Cordelia. do they park so darn close to you? Jesus. I would never get back in a car with her. <laughs> what is those are those dance moves? Teach them to me. Thank you. Oh, is there alcohol in this? Just a smidge. Come on, Buffy, it's just a smidge. You don't have to drink it. When I was your age, I wasn't on the kind of things either. Have you seen our multimedia room? Oh, the one As if all adults drink. Is Andrew just about to get wasted? What is happening here? Ugh. I fear drunk Xander. <laughs> Buffy, you don't have to drink it if you don't want to. You can just pretend. New girl. Easy. Oh my god, so aggressive. What the hell? Come on, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Could I have this? Ew, I hated that. Like, what was his plan? To just, like, crash into her? I'm really glad that you decided to come. And you're not. No, it's, I shouldn't be here. Because you're seeing someone. No. You're not seeing someone? Someone's not seeing me. Mm. So, why shouldn't you be here? Because I have obligations. People that I'm responsible for, or to, or <laughs> Am I being irresponsible by being like, you're allowed to blow off your responsibilities every once in a while? Maybe. Her job does deal with life and death and stuff. So maybe I am being a bit flippant. You think I'm too mature? <laughs> I talk too much. I but still, up. she's a teenager. That's like a flaw in the system to make a slayer a teenage girl, you know? Like, you have to be ready for shit like this to happen, you know? If that's who you're gonna make your slayer. Godzilla's attacking downtown Tokyo. Arr! Arr! <laughs> we got us a crasher. Hey, guys. New pledge. New pledge. New pledge! New pledge! New pledge! You okay? <sighs> yeah, I was just thinking. Uh, to maturity. What are these drinks, do you think? Just like vodka, pure fucking vodka? Be mature. Okay, well this is not great to get drunk when you're probably gonna have to do some slaying shit. Kent. Kent, that's it! My boyfriend's name was Kent. No, Kent Preparatory School. Pulling up their school newsletter for the past few months. To see if there's anything about... A missing girl. There's always a missing girl. <laughs> I think I've said this before, but Xander has nice skin. You are doll face. Keep it on dick. All right. Uh... Alright, Buffy, you should really get home. Oh my god, Xander. He looks like such a freak. <laughs> Does his dance moves. It's kind of endearing me to him, not gonna lie. Oh, no, no, no. It's time to call a cab, girly. Just need to stop spinning first. I do not like... I do not like... 
I do not like this. Like, what are they doing with the girls, though? I have no... Get right. away from her! I wasn't doing anything. I saw what you were doing. Oh. She's just having a little fun. Is he actually normal? She's here for the pleasure of the one we serve. Oh, no, he wasn't. He's not normal. Hmm. And that goes for the other one, too. I thought for a second. <sighs> oh, shit. Kelly Megan Anderson, missing for over a week. No one knows what happened to her. This being sunny, Dale and all, I guess we can rule out something good. Mm-hmm. No, there's no point in disturbing them until we know more. You mean like if there are others? Brittany Oswald, junior at St. Michael's, disappeared a year ago. So did Kelly Purcell. Okay, but how do you know that these are in connection to this? People are disappearing all the time in this show for like a million different reasons. We need to know where Buffy found that bracelet. Then we can begin our search there. Good idea. Call Angel. He was there. Does he have a phone number? How do you get in touch with him? Seriously. Does he have a phone? Party's over, jerk water. Wait, jerk a friend of mine. Is here. You know? Isn't that light? With that wig on and all. You're still butt ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I think it's the best you've ever looked, but that's just me. Oh, I do not like that. What's happening? What do they do to us? If I was Cordelia, I would truly, at this point, be like, I'm never hanging out with you ever again. Under no circumstances. Every time I end up with you, shit goes sideways. Like one of them's different than the others. Nicer. Buffy, stay calm. But what does it mean? Why did I ever let you talk me into coming here? Cordelia. She found the bracelet in the cemetery. What are you doing? Sorry, the reflection thing that you don't have. Mm. Angel, how do you shave? It's a good question, honestly. A fraternity. Could they be taking these girls? Let's get out there. Buffy! Well, I don't know that it's concrete. Let's not disturb her until... Is there! With Cordelia, they went to a party at the Zeta Kappa house. She lied to mm. me. Oh. Did she have a date? Oh. Not important right now, Angel. Why do you think she went to that party? Because you gave her the brush off. And you never let her do anything except work and patrol. And I know she's the chosen one, but you're killing she's her with the pressure. Angel. I mean, she's 16 going yeah. on 40. <laughs> okay. I don't feel better now, and you've got to help Buffy. One day I'll have money, prestige, power. And on that day, they'll still have more. Yep, they're still there. We who receive all that you bestow call upon you in this holy hour. We have no wealth. I feel like you gotta give some serious credit to the set designers. Like, I feel like the sets change, like, except for the school and I guess their homes. The sets, like, change every episode, basically. So they always have to build something new. We come before you with fresh offerings. Offerings? He's talking about us? Do you see anyone else chained up in here? There's something down there, and he's gonna throw us down there with it. I don't think so. No? Well, that's good. That that's. I don't think we go to it. it comes to you. I think it comes to us. Oh. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Like, eat them? For he shall rise from the depths, and we oh. shall tremble before him. And if he is pleased with our offerings, then our fortunes shall increase. Yeah. And we shall feed him. Feed him? 
I wonder, and does it just have to be like young, pretty girls? Because they had a lot of girls at that party. I'm like wondering why uh, it was them specifically. Are you wearing makeup? No. <laughs> I think Buffy's still in sight with Cordelia. You're gonna deny it. Don't like wipe your face. Rule number one. No woman speaks. Oh, the teeth. Look at her. She's all skin and bones. Half an hour later, you'll be hungry. I told you to shut up. Oh. You speak again, and I'll cut your throat. Oh, my gosh. Got locked out dumping the trash. Let me in. I don't want to miss the, uh... Come on. You know what? What are they? Oh. Oh. Something's going on upstairs. Go. Go. Feed, dark lord. Uh. Oh, she's gonna break loose. <laughs> like, what a misfortune for them for one of their sacrifices to be a demon slayer. Some guy's attacking Buffy with the sword! Huh? If only they just let it be and didn't need her. And that's over oh, the last 16 and a half years. Guys, <laughs> you bitch. I'll serve you to him in pieces. Tom, you talk too much. Ooh. Let her go, mm. Wormy. You did it. She always does. I've never been so happy to see anyone oh. in my whole <laughs> The weirdest things always happen when you're around. Yeah. I told one lie, had one drink. Yes, and you were very nearly devoured by a giant demon snake. <laughs> the words, let that be a lesson, are a tad redundant at this juncture. I'm sorry. So am I. I drive you too hard because I, I know what you have to face. From now on, no, no more pushing, no more prodding. Just an um, inordinate amount of nudging. Yeah. There does need to be better balance, I think. Although I do get where Giles is coming from. Like, again, Buffy is dealing with some life or death stakes. And a lot of the things are very dire and pressing. Hey, Jonathan, did we forget something? But yeah, she's a teenager. We need to, like, remember that she's a teenager. Extra foam. <laughs> Young men are the only way to go. Have you heard from Angel? When he got so mad about you being in danger and changed into a girl, it was the <laughs> most amazing thing I ever saw. Angel, Angel, Angel. Oh, is every there conversation he is. we have have to come around to that freak? Hey, man, how you doing? <laughs> I hear this place uh, serves coffee. I thought maybe you and I should get some sometime. Yeah. Sometime. I'll let you know. All right, guys, we just finished episode five of season two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I thought that this was a pretty okay episode. Nothing super major happened, I don't think, that's going to forward the plot in uh, a lot of significant ways. Although I guess we do have Angel and Buffy sort of making a little bit of progress in their relationship. Um, as I was saying in the episode, like, there are interesting parts to Angel, but overall, for now, I don't find him to be a particularly interesting character just because um, I think that they have made him a bit maybe too mysterious. Like, we learned about his backstory. I think that was last season. I liked that episode. I thought it was one of the best of last season, and it, like, gave us a lot of really fascinating insights to like his character and why his character does the things that he does um i just think beyond that he doesn't have too much of a personality his personality is just like brooding being a broody vampire and like it's a show so i'm not taking it too what's the word it's a show, and the show has it that they want these two characters to sort of be 
star-crossed lovers and I'm totally okay with that. I love a good star-crossed lover story. I love a good vampire human story. Uh, I guess the thing that's just like not totally crossing over for me is that I don't really know why these two characters like each other. Like it does seem more like a love at first sight thing, which is fine, but not particularly super compelling. Like I wish that I don't know, I wish that there was maybe more there where you could understand like where both of them are coming from as to why they're so drawn to the other person. But at this point, I don't really know why they're drawn to the other person. I feel like they're just drawn to them to be drawn to them because that's what the story needs. Yeah, so I want to like Angel, but again, I feel like I need more from his character right now. I feel like they need to humanize him in a sense yes i know he's a vampire but there needs to be some element of him that i get i guess um that's not just him brooding in the background and being like "Ooh, i only show up when there's danger and to save buffy because nothing can happen to buffy because she's everything to me but like why is she everything to you and he keeps talking about how she's a teenager. And look, this doesn't bother me too much because again, back in the day, guys, I read Twilight. I watched the movies. I was that girl. And it didn't bother me too much at the time either because Ra or, sorry, Edward Cullen was a lot older than ba Bella Swan. But um, I don't know. I feel like they emphasize it more in this show. Like they keep bringing up the fact that he's like 200 plus years old and she's just 16. And so he sees her as immature. But then I'm like, then why are you into her, sir? All I'm trying to really say here is that I wish that we get more character development from Angel. I wish that we get more, um, we, we just get to know his character a bit more. I wish that like I, we got to see why they're so drawn to each other like more yeah yeah that's kind of my uh opinions on them right now i'm not super invested in their relationship to be honest with you i wish that i was more invested at this point but um i'm just gonna need the story to give me a little bit more about him because right now i mean buffy is such a great character i think she's so great i think that as much as Xander can kind of like annoy me sometimes. Like I think that he is also a decent character. I think Willow's a great character. I think that Cordelia is an interesting character. I think that Giles is interesting. I think that even Miss Calendar is interesting. But Angel, not very interesting to me right now. So because he is the core love interest, I just, I just want more. I just want more. So hopefully, as the show goes on, they give us more, and yeah. But overall, I thought that this was an okay episode. I don't think it was their best, but still enjoyable for what it is, you know? Um, I feel like even when I'm not like super drawn in by the storyline, the show is still really entertaining. So it was always a fun show to watch, regardless of um, the events in the show that are on folding but yeah i think that the last episode was better than this one so maybe we'll pick it up in the next one who knows but until then thank you guys so much for watching this with me today and i will see you guys with more buffy next tuesday so i'll see you guys then bye